What's up crew? Chris with Clover Tech and welcome back to the channel. Now, several weeks ago, maybe even a couple of months ago, I had a company reach out to me. That company was Craft Holsters and they wanted me to do some t and &E, take a look at one of their leather holsters. Now, it just so happens that I had previously purchased a little Beretta 84F, a little Beretta Cheetah, and I wanted to use that for everyday carry. So, uh, I thought, well, this is a pretty good opportunity to be able to get a holster to use for that everyday carry. Also do some testing on a new holster and all that jazz. So what they sent me was uh, an open top outside the waistband leather holster. That fits, of course, my Beretta 84F. So today we're going to go to the bench and take a look at this holster from Craft Holsters. Here we are on the bench, going to take a look at this holster real quick. First, going to take out the uh, Beretta 84F, do a quick safety check on it. We will talk about that here in just a minute probably, but want to make sure that it's clear. So this is the open top model outside the waistband, obviously, leather holster from Kraft Holsters. Now, if you're not familiar with craft holsters, they uh, are European. Uh, so I'm guessing they use European uh, materials. Uh, they do talk on the website about some of the thread and stitching and leather coming from Italy, coming from Germany, that sort of thing. Best I can tell, everything is assembled in Slovakia, which is kind of cool. And one thing about this, this holster, when I got it in, that was really interesting. Um, you know, get a lot of stuff on the channel for T&E, whatever, uh, to, you know, to test out, to review, that sort of thing. And this was shipped and, and sort of arrived in one of the most interesting ways that I've ever seen anything shipped. It came in a box and I opened the box up and it really was packaged old school. Uh, this holster was in a, like a foam, little foam bag. Uh, but the packing material was straw, which is awesome. You don't you don't really see that anymore. And of course, there was a note in there to me, as well from Craft Holsters, which was really nice of them. But yeah, just a really cool experience with the uh, with the unboxing of this. Sadly, I didn't keep that. I think I posted some pictures on Instagram or something like that. Uh, but sadly for this video. Uh, didn't have enough foresight to keep that around, but a very cool experience for sure. Been wearing this holster uh, as everyday carry for a while now. Obviously brown leather. They have them in black. They have them in a few different colors, and they've got a wide variety of, of different holsters. But if we look at this and the stitching, and I'm not the foremost authority on holsters, so uh, other than it holding up and it working great for my needs in everyday carry with this Beretta 84F. Um, you know, can't speak to a, to a whole lot more. If you're out there and you see something in the video here as we're showing this off and filming, and you do know a little more about leather and that sort of stuff, by all means, leave a comment below. Uh, and yeah, let's talk about that. It could be helpful to somebody else looking in the holsters, but. They do put their brand on. I think they've also got some options to customize uh, the leather with initials and other things. But uh, I find the stitching really robust. I think they've done uh, a good job with that. As far as the molding, compare the, uh, and I guess that's what you would call it, the molding, right? Uh, if you compare the uh, embossed or whatever edges here to the firearm that goes in it, you can see that... Uh, yeah, it's, it's molded pretty well. Uh, very secure fit. This is just the open top model. Really no uh, security, but it fits in there pretty good. You got to realize that while I can turn this thing around upside down and it, it wiggle it and it, it want to fall out. Once you get this on your body, uh, it does kind of tighten things up. And so as you can see, if you kind of flex that around like it would be on your body or whatever, uh, this pushing into your body is going to secure it pretty good. I don't have a problem with it at all. Uh, wears comfortable. This is a fairly heavy little 380. This little uh, Breda 84F Cheetah. So 
Uh, and it looks good, in my opinion. <laughs> the blue grips, the leather, all of that stuff. Now, one thing that I did find with the Kraft leather holsters, I can't speak to all of them being that way, uh, but of course this one is, is the belt loops or the holes for the belt here. Got a, a, a good buddy uh, from Star Leather USA made me this custom leather belt to go with this holster to be able to, of course, everyday carry and test things out. And why did he have to do that? Well, because the holes in this particular uh, holster are for an inch and a half wide belt. Now, I like an inch and three quarter belt, a little wider. This one is inch and a half. These are inch and a half. So had to go that route because you can squeeze. I was able to squeeze my inch and three quarter belt through this. Uh, I've got a feeling that if I did that uh, too awful much, it would really put some excessive wear points probably here and here on the leather and potentially wear the holster out a lot quicker, especially taking it on and off the belt. Uh, and it was a pain to get the belt through there because it's a quarter of an inch wider or whatever. So uh, just keep that in mind if you're running an inch and three quarter belt. That's something that you do want to double check with craft holsters before uh, you go out and start looking at this as an option for your everyday carry. So that's it for today, crew. Uh, not a whole lot left to say. Uh, it's a leather holster, right? Uh, I think it's it's probably a good one. It Like I said, it's held up for weeks and or months now of everyday carry with a fairly heavy uh, little pistol. And I've enjoyed it. I'm going to continue to carry it. So again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to drop those down below. Also, uh, if you found this information at all helpful, educational, entertaining, whatever, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up we would appreciate that thank you for hanging out thank you for watching till next time don't forget to chain fire freedom